Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jessica and today we're playing Surviving the Aftermath. Now this is episode one of hopefully a brand new series that I'm starting. Um, this game is awesome. Also the DLC New Alliances um, recently came out so I'm gonna check that out. I've not been able to try it yet, but basically you can, uh, <clears throat> you can kind of uh, help different societies with requests and eventually unite under one banner or you know there's also a rival faction that you have to fight a bit more and just a lot of other improvements um so we're gonna start a normal game <clears throat> um so right the prologue Modern civilization is gone it fell apart in a time when rivaling superpowers fought over power and ideology too focused on themselves, no one noticed what was coming until it was too late. Skies rained down fire as thousands of comets and massive objects pummeled the inner solar system. On Earth, cities were leveled and replaced by vast wastelands. As nations vanished, the remaining factions waged decade-long wars over scraps until there were no armies left to command. Now we are all that remains, looking for a new home, looking for a way to start over in this age we call the Aftermath. Um, so we'll keep the tutorial messages on. We're going to say medium, challenging, but fair. And we will do common catastrophes. And for the environment, um, hmm, <laughs> I'm either going to do one or two. I'm not really interested in a hardcore playthrough right now. Um, let's just, let's just do one, and then in the future, maybe we'll get a little bit harder. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, I understand the game fully before I, like, push the challenges. Um, we will do, let's see, joining with other groups has helped. It has been wise to choose who to trust. I see, I see. We can do, um, yeah, let's just do joining with other groups has helped. Plenty of survivors and abundant starting resources. Ideology. Um, I actually don't know what this affects. Uh, basically, you can focus on survival and efficiency, large-scale production, or health and safety. I don't know. I don't know what this affects, actually. I'm just going to do basic survival skills. And we choose two starting specialists. Um, I'm gonna go with probably a... Oh, you can... I see. There's a lot of them. Baron. Um, I'm probably gonna go with a fighter and... Maybe a scientist. Or a scavenger. Um, okay. Let's see. A hundred... I'm looking at their stats right now. Six AP. I kinda wanna get like a badass... Ooh, Kate looks cool. Except she only does 250. I wonder if the ones you can get to start are all pretty limited. Because I know you can get scientists with up to 350 SP. So I guess you, the ones we start with are a little limited. Um, specialists. 120. Maybe we can get a fighter. Are there any fighters with 150? I think only the scavengers have that right now. Scientists. Yeah, this fighter only has 50% scavenge. Oofies. Alright, um, let's get Kate. Let me just compare these two. 80, 9, 100. 80, 12, 100. But she has less recovery. Okay, yeah, we'll do Kate and a fighter. Scrap a... Um... Makita. She does 20. I'm just kind of comparing stats here. 20, 20, 6. Alright, we'll do Makita and Kate. Fighter and scientists. Um, and then for our flag, we will do, um, <clears throat> let's see here, we'll just pick something, 
kind of cool. Let's see, fire. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, all of these are kind of cool. I kind of like that logo. Maybe with a purple flag. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, colony name. Uh, let's just pick something. Um, Egoopolis. Ego <laughs> Meridian. That's kind of cool. And a colony motto. Um, <clears throat> Haven for all, better tomorrow. Unity equals strength. <laughs> Under the shade we flourish. That's me trying to not get sunburned. Um, endure and overcome. Good luck, have fun. A better tomorrow. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get going. I wonder if I should have edited my map seed. I kind of just sped past that menu. The last time I played this recently, I well, I'm not a huge fan of the map seed I got, but I, it's not like I can really control it. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. We are here. The world is in ruins. Things once considered mundane are hard to find. And habitable land is no exception. A settler. A oh, has finally my found bad. A spot <laughs> for a new colony. With a place to call home. I thought he was going to let me read. For a new beginning. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. Build the campsite to mark the center of the new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area. All right. Um, interesting. This kind of looks like the last map that I got. I wonder if it's the same. Because the water was over here the last time. I, I wonder. I mean... It, actually, no, it looks a little different. Okay, so we have a large water pond lake thing over there. I'm gonna take a look at the soil fertility. So we have a little bit of green um, this way and this way and a big old patch of red uh, and yellow. So I think I'll probably put my campsite in the yellow and then I'll probably start building houses in the red just because um, I don't think there's any penalty for that. And I want to save the green land for like farming and anything else that requires fertile soil. So let's get our campsite. So this is where uh, they store like just a lot of common supplies. Um, oh, interesting. I can't put it out that far yet. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I wonder why not. Is that like, I don't have that revealed yet? Oh, okay. Can I make him walk over here? Hmm. Can I build anything else? Okay, so it seems like I'm kind of forced to actually just pl put my campsite somewhere in this little circle. All right, well, in that case, uh, I guess we'll do it right by the door. Here. So we'll let that run. Okay, so now it wants us to shoot the flare and let survivors come in. But I think first we're gonna... <laughs> that freaking duck noise gets me every time. Uh, we're gonna build... Let's see what else we can build here. Um, two tents, an emergency shelter, some of this stuff, water collectors. Oh, you can start, okay. Well, all right, let's get our initial tent set up. Um, so we, I think we get two free ones. Um, uh -huh. I'm gonna, <laughs> I keep getting interrupted by ducks quacking. Uh, all right, let's build. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I can't build uh, roads yet. So we're gonna put our first couple of tents down 
here. And we want an emergency shelter. Actually, maybe I should have... Did that, did that automatically build them? It did. Okay. Well, I was going to say maybe we uh, put the emergency shelter first instead. I could put the emergency shelter back... <laughs> Why is the quacking? Why? Um... Trying to find a good spot for the emergency shelter. Honestly, maybe just like... Let's think. Ba, ba, ba. I was gonna maybe put... I'm trying to th okay, I'm trying to think because I want to put outhouses as well. I want to have a good like little block of houses here. So let's put the emergency shelter uh, here. And we will get a couple food storages going. So it does have this initial radius around it. Oh my gosh, my cat just jumped on my desk and scared the crap out of me. Let's see if I can ugh, move her tiny little body. Okay. Um, she, uh, anyway. Okay, so this has this radius around it, which you could just build it around uh, like berry bushes, but you can also move its work area from the building. So you don't have to build it around where it's going to gather things. Um, I'll put the first food storage here and then we'll move its work area once it's built. I don't think my, uh, yeah, I think we need people to build that stuff. So I don't think it's gonna get built yet. Um, and then, oops. The stockpile, we can also, Put like here. We'll put it there. Um, and yeah, all right. That should be a good start. Let's see, water. A water well. We definitely want um, an initial output of water. I don't know. Okay, so the circle around it, I think the more green, the more efficient on the right side here. So, yeah, you obviously want more green in the, in the circle, but you can get a hundred up to about there. So we'll do that. Okay. So there's a water well, um, clean water storage. I don't think we're going to have enough. Uh, stuff for that yet and then we're gonna want a recycler there's a ton of plastic here here and here so let's see um, the recycler we can just set here for now and I think we should also mm, I guess these things will have to wait just a tiny bit but I would like at least one to two outhouses here um, I'm gonna put them kind of, um, put one there and we'll put one here and okay, that should be good for now. So let's shoot our flare. Uh, there are survivors. Wait, shoot the flare. Also, we can choose the radio we got going on here. Let's do... Let's just see what some of the, I think some of these are new. Let's see what uh, Easy Raider is. All right, prompted Your by this. First colonists have arrived. Prompted by this. Okay, signal, <laughs> I keep trying to read. The group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. All right. Well, we've reached a milestone. Oh, this radio station's funky. This is a funky one. All right, we're gonna call this um, YouTube Colony One, so I don't get it confused with my Twitch stream colony. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a bit much for me. 
Let's see. Alright, so they're moving into action to build all this stuff. I want to build... Well... We need to get this first. Because we want to make sure we can get plastic. And then this is... This is already built. So the work area... We'll do that. That'll get all three. Whoa, this music has words. Okay, that's too distracting. Let's try skylights. It's too distracting I, when they have words. You know, like, I could never do, like, homework to, uh, to music that had lyrics because I would always just focus on the lyrics and then I couldn't do anything else. All right, let's get those berries. And... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're out of wood, so we're just waiting for wood to be built and taken to this stockpile here. Let's think about roads now. It's kind of awkward because this gate starts out with a three wide road. And I always want to ex like continue that, but it's a little awkward. Um... Well, mm, I don't know if we should put a road in between this. Uh, put a road here. Um, and I actually, I kind of wanted like a central, th central road from the gate, but I think I'm gonna have to like go forward and then over. A little bit here. Uh, let's see, we'll do that and then that. Um, and little road here. And we're just trying to make roads all over here. Trying to just make it nice. I guess I could do like a three wide here. That way it kind of looks like it comes off with a gate. Um, so our biggest priority is obviously repairing our gate here, um, but we can't do that because we need research. Um, we need research stiff. Um, so, uh, to get research, we have to go to the world map. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I got that backwards. So, we don't need research. We need, uh, resources to break or fix the gate. We need a lot of resources. And then when we fix the gate, then we can go to the world map and get research points for other stuff. Um, that's my bad. I got my brain got all jumbled there. But yeah, so we just got to get a bunch of resources, wood and plastic to fix this gate. And then we can go to the world map and start collecting research and other stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I think I'm going to build some more tents as well. How many people are living in this? Six people are living in that. So I'm gonna build two more tents here. And obviously I would like one, right? Well, maybe we can sneak one in. Obviously I would like to put it evenly there, but that wood pile's in the way. I could probably sneak a couple in the front here. Uh, and then eventually we can put one back here. I didn't realize that this could be closer to that. Yeah, something's off with the shelter. All right, let's see what's going on. Not everybody is equally skilled in the art of building, but one of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad at it. His tent looks like it could collapse at any moment as the poorly sewed trap uh, tarps slowly rip apart. Regardless, the colonist insists he knows what he is doing. So. We can either improve the tent ourselves and use up 12 plastic and 
uh, or leave it be and just trust him to do what he needs to do. But I don't know. I think I'm just gonna improve it myself so I know that it's improved and, and safe. Okay. Against his wishes, some adjustments are made to the colonist's home. He seems displeased by the ordeal, but manages to mumble his thanks after the work is done. 20 happiness. All right. So he reluctantly let it be. Let it be. Um, so what we could do as well is bring our specialists over while they're in the colony and have them perform tasks. So I'm gonna have them uh, kill this deer over here since we don't have a trapper yet. And we'll get some meat out of that. And then we'll have them gather it and put that in the food storage. Now we can't cook it yet, but I think that they'll still eat it raw, which is kind of weird. Um, so we're just sort of waiting for supplies to roll in. Let's see what else there is. Well, yeah, we could do a water collector over here actually, but let's see, that will take up... Oh, we get one free one actually. So we should definitely do that then. So you want the efficiency to be as close to 100 as possible. Obviously we have 99 there, but here we have 100, so we'll construct that there. How much? This takes 40 plastic to make a uh, water storage. I don't really understand how this works. Uh, I'm assuming that it just should be next to the water collector. So I guess we'll see. Um, what road do I want this to connect to? We could do a road here. All right, cool. We're getting those roads built. All right, the recycler is putting in work. Is this a good work area? I could get, uh, I can't quite get all three there. So yeah, we'll just do these two first. Um, again, you wanna uh, avoid these red areas because this is pollution. It will make your people sick. So it's kind of a fine balance of repairing and so yeah we need 190 wood and 175 plastic to repair the gate all right we we made the storage which is good what we could do to speed up the process is make another recycler um the downside is that it costs plastic I th oh no it just costs wood oh i didn't realize that we had access to lumber yards already all right well let's make a lumber yard because that will get us some wood early on all right let's look at soil fertility again lumber yard they cut down trees um uh, i kind of want to put it near this stockpile sort of um, so like you could put the building itself in the middle of a bunch of trees, but that will actually knock down some trees. Um, I might put it back here for now. Let's see. See, look at how many trees are over here. This is amazing. Uh, I actually might put it back here. Well, no, cause I want to put some farms here. I think this is a great farmland right next to the water as well. There's just so many good trees. I think I might put the lumber yard. Um, let's just put it here. And then we will change its work area. And then um, a logging camp will turn wood into firewood, which is really important for winter. But we don't even have burners yet, I don't think. Are they unlocked? Oh, they are, okay. 
They are unlocked. Let's also get a medical tent. We don't have enough stuff for that quite, but I think I want to make this the medical area. Well, it's re that's really close to the gate, so if someone gets in, they might destroy the medical first, which could be bad. So let's do medical there. And then after this, we'll do probably one more recycler and then... Um, let's see. And then we'll let the supplies roll in. I could just make them get these trees here, but I um, kind of don't mind those trees being there. So let's get that, that wood there. Sorry, I know this bright color is not good to look at. I apologize. Um, where do they go in here at? Oh. Just want to get that medical tent made as soon as possible. Um, and then we should really get another recycler soon all right we're making a medical tent so that this should help soon because we're already getting people sick uh commotion inside the camp all right i'm gonna save just you know just in case just in case all right what's up suddenly Muffled cries for help start echoing from one of the shelters. Inside, a large hole has opened up in the ground, swallowing the poor colonist. The shelter was apparently built on top of a small sinkhole. A makeshift ladder should help get the colonist out without injury. Minus 20 wood to make a ladder. Alright, let's build him a ladder. Plus 20 happiness. Nearby colonists fetch wood from the stockpile. Together they fashion a crude but functional ladder to lower down the sinkhole. The fallen colonist climbs up, rattled but otherwise unscathed. The hole is filled and carefully covered to prevent any future surprises. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Dude, sinkholes are like one of my biggest fears. They're so scary. Ugh. Alright, so happiness went up. That's good. Alright, this music's kind of... Let's see what this is. This music is intense. Um, okay, we got the medical tent up. That's really good. Uh, I was gonna make another recycler. So where should we put the other recycler? We could... Um, I really like this big red area for houses, so I kind of want to leave it open as much as possible. Um, that stockpile is holding both wood and plastic. Um, I think I could put the recycler just here and it'll work on we'll put it there um and then yeah it can help get this right here that just costs wood to make so that'll be good. Getting built. We gotta get- I don't know if we have enough people to really work in both, but it's fine. Alright, work area will be here. So we're kind of overlapping there, but it should be good. And the faster we get rid of these here, we can build stuff in that area. Alright. We got a wooden ruin depleted. We completed that, that. Um, carriers. Yeah, we, how many carriers we got? We have three care. Oh, actually we don't have any. All right. Probably should make one carrier. What? Oh, why does it say we have three carriers there? But then here it says carrier count. That's weird. Don't really get that. Some of these people are just okay. hanging out, doing nothing. Are these my specialists? I don't know. Um, so they're chopping the wood. Logging camp is gonna be a priority soon. Our water is okay. 
Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on the fishing pier for just a little bit until we get the, uh... uh -huh. Uh, so we get the gate restored. I'm gonna just keep having our specialists help out with getting food while they're here and they can't do anything else. I think that's the best bet. Alright. So we're gonna have you guys pick up the meat now. You can also have your specialists grab berries, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's always good. A little excess. A little extra. Um, the downside of outhouses is that they get gross and contaminated, so you have to either manually clean them or eventually use the maintenance depots, which actually is pretty great. I like the maintenance depots, personally. They're very helpful because it just makes it way easier. All right, so now I'm gonna save up all my plastic for the gate to be restored, because that's pretty important. Two deposits depleted. Oh, that's the deer. The deer. Yes. Oh, we got a person here. Hello. I'm just gonna save again. I'm very like, just in case, I'm very paranoid about stuff going wrong. Uh-huh. One of the colonists approaches looking more than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Her grandmother used to teach her while she was a child and she seems fairly confident that she still remembers how it goes. Question is, can her skills be trusted? Give her fiber minus nine or it's not a good idea. Uh, we have 30 fiber, fiber. I'll give her a try. Oh man. She's given the fiber, she hurries off, grateful for the trust. After not hearing from her for a while, some colonists decide to take a look. The little fiber that hasn't been ruined got mangled into patchy, poorly made coat. That will surely fail to protect even the slightest dribble. Sorry, I really tried, the woman says, unable to meet anyone's eyes. Wow. Last time I did this, she succeeded and I got free clothing. So just know that anything that I pick may not be like the right answer for if you play the game because I think there's like random chances every time someone plays for things to go right or wrong. Yes. So yeah, keep that in mind. I'm gonna make them grab berries while they're here. Just keep the food supply up and running. I wonder if they actually, I don't know how the water collection storage works really. Cause I mean, I assume they just like get water and then put it in there, but it doesn't really, I don't know. Is this food storage full? Oh, strange. Strange. Do we have enough houses for people? Okay, yeah, no one's... No one is in the emergency shelter anymore. So that's good. <laughs> Bless you, lady. Alright, we have 165. How much do we need for the gates? 175. We're almost there. We'll just wait till we have 175. All right. There we go. We're gonna repair the gates. Now, once you repair the gate, that's when stuff starts getting pretty hectic. Uh, it, gets, it gets a little chaotic because there's two layers of, uh, of gameplay. There's the colony view like this, and then there's the world map view and there's like events constantly happening so this this game gets pretty chaotic um and plus i just got the dlc the new alliances dlc and i've not really um played it at all yet so it might get even more chaotic than i even know who knows bum, 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 bum. all right they should start building the gate now do 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 Bum, 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 bum. Look at them go! <laughs> Just a bunch of junky cars and stuff. Congratulations! You've rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, 
and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed, though. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters, and those who just want to see you destroyed. Arm the gate with colonists or keep specialists close by to defend yourself from raids. We've reached a All right. Milestone. So we have one guard on the gate. At the gate. Oh my gosh, that was instantaneous. Hello. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. All right, we would get Raj, the scavenger, which is cool because we don't have a scavenger yet. He's a perfectionist, often to the point of frustration. He calls it wisdom brought by age. While some counter, he's just being become paranoid in his later years. It does come handy, though. If he says to have empty to place, you can be sure it's been cleaned out on every nook and cranny. Um, all right, so they will bring seven adults, three children, lots of supplies. Wow. Yeah, sure. Hopefully they're friendly and not. All right, I'm just making sure. That, sometimes they'll join you and then they'll attack, which is the worst. All right, so we need to build uh, a new tent. Uh, possibly two, really. We'll build one here. Actually, hold on. It kind of was overlapping here. All right, I know that they don't quite line up, but that's the best I can do right now. I know you're homeless. I got gotcha. you. We're working on it. Um, okay, so now we will send our specialist to the world map. Yep. And so they're going to go. All right, they did it. Um, meanwhile, I would like to make a fishing pier. Let's see here. 100% efficiency there, so let's do that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have 22 people now as well, so I'm gonna make another outhouse. Why is that still red? I don't really get why. You see like the this red diagonal line? It's like, I guess that's the area at which they get polluted. So I don't really know the downside of having them close like that. Um, okay, do we have any other homeless people? There's still four people in the emergency shelter. That's crazy. Um, I think we're also gonna need a burial pit soon because if somebody dies, from old age or whatever, then it can get kind of bleh. So we'll put the burial pits just like back here. It does cause pollution, so you don't want it to be super close. Um, all right, let's see what our specialists can do. The downside is we don't have a scout. But we have a scientist What's right up? off the gate. We can go get this okay. research. I'll have the scavenger get these tools. How am I a help? Um, and yeah, we'll just okay. get this right here. Might as well get what we can get right now and then we can scout. So they're working on that stuff. We don't have enough material. We don't have any wood. All right. I think it's because this is out of commission here. Let's clear this piece of wood there. So they're working on that. It's just slow. Ooh, we got a new quest. One of the colonists told that before finding this colony, she tried to navigate using the larger landmarks as waypoints. One of these was an old nuclear plant. Only a few dare to venture close to that, thanks to radiation, but it actually did not appear that dangerous. There never were any symptoms that she could notice after being close to it. Yeah, let's find the nuclear plant. 
So those purple ones up here, these are like main quests. Um, so you definitely want to do those as you can. Okay, so scout towers. Um, remove the fog that cover the land. Expands buildable area and it covers new resource deposits. They can also defend themselves when attacked. So we'll put a scout tower here. Um, it does take a worker and slot them in there. So after you build them and you decide you don't want anyone over there, you can be sure to um, fire the worker from that building. Okay, so we still have four people who are in the... Oh, okay. Gosh, this is a little too real, isn't it? Uh, first signs of pandemic are upon us. At first, it's just a cough, but then the fever picks up. People start dropping like flies, and the colony grinds to a halt. Now it's a question of how quickly you react. Several staff the medical facilities can nullify it almost completely, but if left unchecked, it spreads like wildfire. Uh, pandemics come in waves, infecting colonists. Untreated, they'll die, and they take they drink more water, and you need to get antibiotics in more medical facilities. So... Yeah, uh, I guess we should prepare for that. Why can't I put that there? Because of the berry bush? Um, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll just put that there. We need to build this next. We are out of wood. So it's really awkward. Alright. Um, so we have the medical tent on priority. Hopefully that gets done. We What we could also do is... Build another stockpile. Uh, over, you know, somewhere else, and it does take 10 wood to make this, but it will allow for some more gathering of wood, because this one is pretty low, pretty low. Okay, so we actually got some our first science research points. So let's think about it. Um, so the skinning will upgrade the or you can upgrade the hunting cabin. Oh, and it turns it into fiber. See, I didn't know that. Uh, centralized repairs is really important. School and greenhouses. Wait, this is new. Hold up. Yeah, this is all new stuff. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. All right. Cool. That's from the DLC. So let's do, we don't even have a trapping cabin yet. Maintenance depot would be really nice. Um, and so would building better tents because that gives people happiness. But let's do hunting cabin and then uh, this will increase production speed there. And then we'll do basic farming. Um, and then communal eating. Which will unlock cookhouses. Which is quite important, I think. Let's go to the map here. Okay, she's still getting stuff. Never mind. Uh, if there's an exclamation point, um, where these yellow icons are, that means they're ready to do something new. Um, yeah, so we're we're kind of hurting here. We're almost we've almost made the second medical tent. And then once we do that, we can uh, build the second stockpile, and that will help us get more wood. And then we're gonna do build next. Oh, just kidding. I thought this would be. There we go. It wasn't quite done there. Now they'll do that, because oh, I didn't even know they were doing that over there. 
deposit depleted. Okay, so they're done with that. So let's change their work area over here. There's three deposits of wood. That's really good. We've made a new discovery. Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff happened. Okay, we're in a pandemic. So we have two medical facilities. We researched skinning. The pandemic started. Um, and... Our specialist is ready for action. All of them are. So she got 500 research. So that's really good. We got 15 clothing. All cleaned up. And 16 tools. Okay, so in order, so you see now on the bottom right of their profile panel, they have that in their inventory. So they won't, your colony won't have that stuff until they go back and return it. Um, but except research, you get research instantly upon finishing it. Um, so I could, since we're really close, just right drop away. some stuff off yes. for these okay. two. And then this girl, uh -huh. I can have her scout over Got here it. while we wait. Cause she doesn't have anything to drop off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna save now just cause the pandemic started. You never know, something might go crazy wrong. Um, we got some hurt people. And we're researching farming. We're starting to roll in some more wood, which is very, very good. Oh, wait, yeah, work area here. Uh, let's do that there. So now we have pretty good stuff going on. Fishery has been damaged. Human error is to blame. Colonists is being berated and pushed around by their neighbors. Apparently they had fallen asleep while working at the fishery and their little campfire got out of control. Now the building is in danger of burning down with today's catch still inside. So you can either tell them to go fetch the fish or put out the fire first. So what I'm assuming is that grabbing the fish will injure our people in the fire and you get to maybe save some fish. Um, we only have six fish in our stockpile that I can see. Um, uh, and since we're in a pandemic, the medical tents are gonna be full. So I don't want somebody to get hurt. So I'm gonna say put out the fire first, even if we lose some fish. Okay, so... They put out the fire, they do so, but not before fish burn to ash. Okay, but nobody's hurt, so that's fine with me. Um, we will tell them to repair that. Also, we are uh, at a negative balance of water. They're consuming more than they're producing at the moment. So we could um, build another well. So that takes uh, water and plastic. So we'll do that. Um, could do it back here, or I could do it right here next to. Yeah, we'll we'll do that one. So we'll build that next. We have the scout tower here. Um, I'm gonna take someone off of it. We, I don't really understand the scouting thing, cause like, oh, I see. So it's a production thing. So you have to assign someone to it until it gets to 100%. Okay, so we'll leave her on that until it's done. Uh, we have six infected colonists, which is, n okay, eight infected colonists, which is not good. We researched farming. Which is good. Uh, nine colonists infected. Okay, so that's that's pretty rough. Uh, I'm not against building another medical tent here. Uh, I'm assuming that they get bigger when you upgrade them, so it's that's might be why they're so. It's like hard to put them next to each other. Uh, I don't really understand. Um, I guess I'll just. It bothers me that it would. It's gonna be like one tile apart. But it's fine. We'll just do that. So we're gonna we're building the well first. Yeah, I don't I don't like that ten of them are infected uh, because they're using a lot of water. 
because since they're infected, they're like drinking a ton of water. Um, so that is not great. <laughs> Ten of them are infected. That sucks. All right, let's see here. The weather in the aftermath is unpredictable. Gosh dang it. These clouds seem to have appeared out of nowhere. Dark droplets hissing on every surface they strike start pouring down. Um, acid rain, everybody take cover. The colonists shout and huddle under something protective. Someone quickly points out the water well's faucet has been left open, meaning the water inside might get contaminated. So wait until the worst is passed, create makeshift armor or risk it. I guess we'll... We can't really afford for our well to get damaged, so I guess we will uh, make create makeshift armor. One of the bravest colonists, equipped with every protective layer available, dashes into the downpour to secure the well. They run back and brush off the cheers as if it was nothing. This act of heroism has lifted everybody's spirit. Minus five clothing, plus 15 happiness. Well, I'm glad they're happy because they're all infected. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. We had a good start. We fixed our gates, sent some specialists to uh, do some stuff, and um, we built a lot of starter buildings. So I will leave the episode here, and then next time we'll see if we make it through this pandemic unscathed. So let's see if uh, anybody dies or if we make it out without any deaths. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.